the Book of Common Prayer, the Order for Morning Prayer. When the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws which he set before us. O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Enter not into judgment with thy servant, O Lord, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dearly beloved brethren, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts, we have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesu our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, 
that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, and hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud the heavens and all the powers therein. To the cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sebaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. 
the noble army of the martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ, thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye angels of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye heavens, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye waters that be above the firmament, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O all ye powers of the Lord, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye sun and moon, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye stars of heaven, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye showers and dew, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye winds of God, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye fire and heat, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye winter and summer, Bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye dews and frosts, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye frost and cold, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye ice and snow, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye nights and days, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye light and the darkness, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye lightnings and clouds, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O oh, let the earth bless the Lord, yea, let it praise him and magnify him for ever. O oh, ye mountains and hills, bless ye the Lord, praise him and magnify him for ever. 
O all ye green things upon the earth, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye wills, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye seas and floods, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye whales, and all that move in the waters, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye fowls of the air, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O all ye beasts and cattle, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye children of men, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O let Israel bless the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye priests of the Lord, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye servants of the Lord, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye spirits and souls of the righteous, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O ye holy and humble men of heart, Bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. O Ananias, Azarias, and Mesau, bless ye the Lord, praise him, and magnify him forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, 
and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, Defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, the High and Mighty, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the only Ruler of Princes, who dost from thy throne behold all the dwellers upon earth, most heartily we beseech thee with thy favour to behold our most gracious Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, and so replenish her with the grace of thy Holy Spirit that she may always incline to thy will, and walk in thy way. Endue her plenteously with heavenly gifts. Grant her in health and wealth long to live. Strengthen her that she may vanquish and overcome all her enemies. And finally, after this life, she may attain everlasting joy and felicity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Charles, Prince of Wales, and all the royal family. Endue them with thy Holy Spirit, enrich them with thy heavenly grace, prosper them with all happiness and bring them to thine everlasting kingdom through Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. 
Almighty and everlasting God, who alone workest great marvels, send down upon our bishops and curates and all congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honour of our Advocate and Mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore.